hi guys welcome back to my channel it is Nello here as always so you guys today's video is long overdue okay in case you're new here my name is Nello and I'm a mom of three and my last baby is five months and losing the baby weight oh my god after the third child it's not the same thing you guys it is not the same thing so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys all my struggles the struggles I faced along the line how I was able to achieve um, well, I wanted to achieve my goal, but to be honest, at this point, it's going to be a constant battle. But I'm going to share with you guys how I was able to achieve um, to where I am today, achieve it to this point where I am today, and just what I've been doing, what I've not been doing, my struggles, and all that good stuff. So if you want to hear what I have to say about losing weight, then just make sure to keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so guys first thing first um, let me just start and let me just backtrack a little bit all my pregnancies I gained a significant amount of weight with my first pregnancy I gained over 20 kg I believe with the second one over 20 kg with the third one well over 20 kg so um, yes I always gain a lot of weight during pregnancy. I know like gaining weight is very normal during pregnancy, but um, I just always gain a whole lot of weight, even though I don't necessarily have to eat wrong during pregnancy to gain weight. It just happens to me. So that being said, with losing the weight for my first pregnancy, after my first pregnancy more like, I don't even think it was that hard to be honest. I didn't even try so hard because I was okay with the way I was. I'll try and insert a picture here so you guys can see. But I was very okay. Like I didn't think I needed to lose a lot of weight. I liked how I looked then. Then after the second one, I worked hard a little bit actually and I lost weight. I'll insert a picture here as well of what I looked like right before I took in for my third baby, my last baby. And now trying to lose the weight, you guys, that is see here, yeah, it's almost like all the weight that I've been piling up over the years, they come now, they become stubborn. They be like, no, we're not going anywhere. So it's just a lot harder for me. It was a lot harder for me to try and lose some weight this time around. So um, that being said, after I had the baby, um, I, I just didn't like how I looked, to be honest. I won't even lie. I did not ha like how I looked. Um, I was still looking pregnant even if like a month after I had my baby I was still looking pregnant I know a lot of people say that's normal they experience it too but I just particularly didn't like it so I knew that I needed to do something because my mom was around she was making omuwa food for me every day and I was eating like a mad cow <laughs> I did not have self-control and I knew that if I continued that way then I will have to pay for it along the line so I needed to start early and the good thing is I did not exclusively breastfeed it was my choice I never did for any of my kids so they were always on formula and breast milk I mean amazing for me so um, so like me trying to lose weight never affected like my breast milk supply or something because I was using both breast milk and formula anyways so it was a good time for me to start. So fast forward to when Adana was about six weeks. So I was not like, okay, six weeks is enough time. It's okay for me to start, you know, watching what I eat now, trying to diet from here and there, you know. And I started dieting. I remember I put out a video around that time, what I eat in a day. Um, yes, I was eating salad, greens, and I was just trying to eat healthy. But to be honest, the temptation was still real. I wasn't held accountable. See, let me tell you, I'll eat healthy today, the next day, just like, you know what, this, this right is not keeping me today. Tomorrow, we'll go back to dieting, we'll continue from where we stopped. So that was my life. Then, um, I think about two weeks, fast forward to around the end of January, I'm going to show you guys what I looked like at the end of January. You guys know the good thing about sit-down videos and vlogs. You guys don't sit down, but don't know what is going on there. So this is what I looked like around the ending of January. Looking at this picture now, I'm just like, who is this? Like... I can't relate. I can't relate anymore. So that was what I looked like and um, it was so perfect. The timing of this email I got was so perfect because I got contacted by April Laughs um, on Instagram. She's Fit Mrs. Fats and she was just like, she wants me to join her plan but they say, but I have to take it seriously. I'll be held accountable. So let me just tell you guys real quick. I've talked about this plan before like after I was only for a few weeks, I came and gave an update. This plan is called the Lifestyle Change with April, okay? Um, I'm going to put all the details to this plan in my description box down below so that you guys can check it out if you're interested. See ya! 
you just tell yourself instead of you going and buying that new shoe that you're eyeing or that new bag that you're eyeing just invest in yourself okay invest this money and you're going to thank yourself for it in future i'm so glad that i took it seriously like i'm not even going to lie to you guys but just to tell you guys real quick so when you join this plan you get added to a group you're looking you're in the group seeing other women other in fact grandmothers people older than you younger than you sending in their workout pictures every day sending in their their uh, goals their meal plan their weight update like working so hard to lose the weight and you look at yourself young view you have never reached anywhere in life what why are you still lying down what is keeping you in your room why are you not going to exercise like your mates so um she warned me beforehand that see i will be held accountable i will have a coach you have access to her she's a certified fitness coach and um yes that if it's something i'm interested in then i should let her know she'll add me to the plan i'm like of course how will i not want to lose weight who doesn't want to lose weight of course so I joined, and let me not even lie, the first few weeks I was so on point, I was cooking all my food, I was following the meal plan, I was exercising, and then, you guys know how these things happen, you see, somewhere along the line, I just started going down, 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 and um, I realized that even though for me, the group at some point became, it's not, it wasn't what I'm looking for, it became, like it was a lot of pressure for me, yeah, let me put it that way, it was a lot of pressure for me. I started feeling like a lot of pressure and I just almost gave up. I'm just like, you know what? I'm not like this other women. I'm not as strong as this other women. I can't do it. Weight loss is not for everybody. And I just started going, I just started going down the drain. And to be honest, it took me looking at my body again to realize that, see, you're not, you are doing yourself, okay? You have to work harder. So midway, we moved groups. And to be honest, one thing I have to say, I'm not going to lie to you guys, when it comes to being active and exercising, it is not my calling okay it's not just my calling i know being fit is good but it just wasn't my calling and i tried to work i did a lot of works i did like i danced you know but i wasn't really like actively exercising every day but the good thing about this plan is with or without the exercise you're still going to lose weight so like in this plan you can eat things like rice you can eat beans you can eat soup you can eat i love that there is chicken like with almost everything grilled of course there's just so many meal options and i'm the kind of person that get bored easily with food okay so if you want to come and be telling me to eat salad in the morning green in the afternoon salad in the night it's not going to work for me so i like that i could eat different things and what i normally did was um what i did then was there are so many things that I found easy to cook and so many that were just maybe out of my way or just hard for me to cook. So I always made those ones that I found easy and the ones that I liked. So I did not eat outside the meal plan, but I did not eat like according to what we are asked to eat. So from the meal plan, I was able to pick the things I liked and I just kept repeating that thing, which was actually advised. You don't have to like follow it because that's pressure, okay? Sometimes you'll be able to meet up, you'll be able to go to the market, you'll be able to do things. So I made sure to just cook what I could and what I liked eating, okay? So that is what I started doing. And this is after I fell off the wagon for about a month. See, this journey is a long journey, okay? I went back to the plan, I started exercising, I started skipping and dancing like i said i wasn't doing any serious like exercise it was mostly skipping dancing and walking then i started following the meal plan and to be honest <laughs> excuse me and to be honest it worked it worked for me till date i still have my vegetables in the fridge like i make it in bulk and stuff for the week i have like beans and stuff that i make from the plan it's all in my fridge that's what i eat okay that being said that's about the plan now coming to myself and the struggles i faced you guys know that i'm a mom i have kids in the house i have a husband i love to cook so when it comes to temptation you're going to face a lot of temptation and i feel like this is why a lot of people don't see their dieting through but the thing is i don't feel like you should actually diet i know better now i feel like you need, I, I'm sure you have heard a lot of people say this, but you need to change your lifestyle. It's a fact. You need to change your lifestyle. I'm not going to come here and lie and say, oh, I'm perfect now. I'm into the fifth farm and, you know, I'm never deviating. No, any day they cook beans in this house, that's unhealthy beans and plantain and yam. I fall for it, okay? Beans is my best food in this world. So, <laughs> I mean, I cannot resist beans. When it comes to rice, I really don't care about rice. I, like, I've stayed now for a long time without rice because even though rice is on the plan, it's something I can do without. So, I just don't don't want that extra calories in my body <laughs> you guys and i love noodles i've not eaten noodles in 
about six weeks now and i'm fine look at me here shining today so um basically uh you're going to face a lot of struggles especially if you're someone that cooks a lot i want to say a mom but you don't even have to be a mom but especially if you're a mom where you have to take care of your kids you know cook and all that in the house you're going to face temptations but see do you know do you know what i did i went on my phone i searched a picture of a very very hot somebody okay and i put it as my is this screen saver or background or whatever it is so every time i bring that food to eat and i want to press food i see that picture <laughs> I just tell myself, nope, 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 this is not the day. But I've told you guys about all the struggles I faced um, in this challenge. I'm going to link that video down below so that you guys can watch it if you're interested. But that's what I did. It's very simple. I just followed this plan and it worked for me. It actually did work for me. I'm going to show you guys some before pictures. See? Who this is so I uh, see I, I, I'm going to put it here. This is people are looking at. I don't know who she is. This is not me. I'm not her. No, no, we are not related in any way. We are not related. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I look like now. So, by the way, this dress I'm wearing is kind of a shirt dress. This dress I'm wearing before it couldn't fit. I tried this dress on before I started this challenge. I wish I took a picture in this dress, but I didn't. The boobs were so tight. This place it was just so tight. I couldn't move my hands well. In fact, my stomach area was nothing to write home about. <laughs> it was like nothing to write home about it couldn't fit but now this dress is free hold on so i don't know if you guys can see where this is just a dress you guys now this dress is free see my tummy is not very flat yet but we well, have gotten somewhere okay this is what my stomach is looking like from the side now mind you i just had a baby five months ago and i'm not one of those who would have snatched back with my son kaito it took me about nine months to kind of get back to where i wanted to be or where i was before i got pregnant for him so um this i've done in five months and it's progress it's just progress i've not reached my goal yet but i'm going to keep going and see you guys will see it in the vlog i'm going to try to update you guys you guys i'm really proud of my progress you can see i still have a mommy pouch i don't think this is ever going anywhere i've had three kids so i don't think it's going anywhere but i so love my progress and i'm so impressed yes right so guys that is my update i'm going to i hope i put enough pictures if not i'm going to add more pictures so that you guys can see because my camera is so cropped in so it's very restricting i'm trying to show you guys what i look like right now clearly i still have a mommy pouch i don't even think that thing is ever going out or less surgery let me not even lie um but i clearly still have that but my tummy i have wear fitted dresses now like to be honest i have three kids you don't expect me to have that sucked in tummy like some people that have not had kids at all so the way my stomach is now i am proud of it i'm going to wear whatever i want to wear i don't owe anybody anything it is not easy i've come a long way my skin is still going to sag i mean like around my stomach area and um, let me not talk about <laughs> what I plan to do in future right now. But point is, I am proud of my progress. And I just wanted to come out here and share with you guys. Um, invest in yourself if you can. It's going to be worth it. I'm not even going to lie. Some people have come to my DMs asking me about this plan actually. But all the details you need will be in my description box down below. So do make sure to check it out. It helped me. It did help me, you guys. I hope you guys are all doing fine. I hope you guys are staying safe. And yes, please make sure to like, comment, share, and all that good stuff if you liked this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one.